something, but you need to have a clearing account as well. And for that one, they charge is fees, processing fees. Number one, inventory cost. Cost from maintaining an inventory of particular currency. You save your online information or a hard currency whatsoever with some deposits or for online system, you have to pay inventory cost as well. Competition. The more intense the competition, the smaller the spread quoted by intermediaries. If less competition, it means spread is high. So why we say that? That in our previous example, why we say that euro is liquid? Because its spread is the lowest one. It means the euro is more competitive currency among these four. Canadian dollar, peso, and rupiah competition. Volume. Currencies that have large trading volume are more liquid since or because there are numerous buyers and sellers at a given time. So if 10,000 orders are given for peso with respect to one, these are orders, not currencies, orders. If one million dollars of uh, sorry, one million orders of dollar, which one is more liquid or the spread is lower? Dollar. Why? Because there are one million orders to buy dollars. And in PISO, there are only 10,000 orders. More orders, more volume means the currency is liquid and spread is lower. Plus currency risk. If the economic you know, condition of that currency and the country is good, then that currency spread is lower. So currency risk, economic and political condition. Now you can say that this is currency, what it has to do with the politics. So remember, dollar value also depends on country as well. So you will see the variation of currency in upcoming election, elections. Right? So in that case, and you can say that, look, this is the, just a dollar. Right? But political conditions also, countries' political condition also affect countries' currency as well. Venezuelan currency is, is very low nowadays. It's depreciating. Why is that? Due to their government or political condition over there, plus economic condition as well. Right? But beside this economic and, and political current, uh, you know, conditions, there is one more thing that is the market force supply and demand so have you heard about the concept or the word economic warfare that what america did to russia america sells all its rubles i think in back in 80s or maybe in 90s and over there, the supply of ruble rises, the value of ruble start decreasing terribly and market crashes, the currency crashes. And what on the other hand, people start charging higher spread. So over there, it multiplied the financial crisis over there. So you can also use this as a war tool as well. So that's why governments are now more you know, keen or pay close attention to the stock, stock market plus the forex market as well. That's why if 1% or 2% depreciation occur in, in currency form, all the media start yelling to the incompetency of the government because it has a huge impact on the economy. Okay, now the direct quotation and indirect quotation. Now you are required to pay very close attention. Direct quotation means It represents the value of foreign currency in dollar. Right? 
which means this is the example 1.40 dollar per euro now pay very close attention this 1.40 is the price of euro not the dollar okay okay if i write it down here so here so can you explain this ratio 7.5 rubles divided by dollar it means this is the price this quotation is the price of rubles no it is the price of dollar means on denominator so this is the price of dollar in form of rubles so just giving you giving you a fresh start that is what is ratio we have some numerator and we have denominator right we call that this is ratio we can also write it down ratio as so there is no difference by writing this form of ratio and this form of ratio so if i said 1.54 euro per dollar or 1.54 Five four euro per dollar. It's the same, but how we can explain this? One point five four dollar euro is the price of one dollar. Understand? This is how we explain ratio. So direct quote mean direct quote mean if everything is written in dollar it means your numerator is in dollar we call that this is direct quotation in direct quotation if your denominator is dollar right we call that indirect quotation or the bookish definition is that it represents the direct quotation represents the value of foreign currency in dollars the example include 1.40 per euro it means euro price is 1.4 dollar if we want to have a indirect quote so just we take reciprocal so this let me just remove it Raise all here. Okay, so we can write it down like this: one point four zero dollar divided by euro. And if we want indirect quote, which is euro over dollar, what we have to do? We just have to divide this one over direct quotation. It will become euro over dollar, which means. One over one point four zero. You just flip this. You flip over this ratio. It becomes euro over dollar. So in, so, in but, everything is in uh, the dollar is in denominator and in direct quotation the dollar is in numerator. Yes. Yeah, but but this is just an example. I mean, like if if one one dollar is one point four euro, one euro will be less than one point four dollar, isn't it? Now you need to repeat your question again. One dollar is equal to it's uh, 
like in the example here, indirect. So the 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 euro is there zero point seven one blah 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 per dollar. Yes. Okay. Would just, be not the same. Yes. So how we can just read this one point four dollar per euro. It means euro is expensive, right? And in when we code in indirect way, we say that it would be euro is equal to one over one point four dollar, which means euro is equal to point seven one four three dollar. Not dollar. Sorry, this is yes. This is yes dollar value of dollar in terms of euro. Yeah. So we just make an in indirect quotation. Uh, sorry, direct quotation. And what does it mean? It means that if you want to buy a euro, you will have to spend one point four dollar. If you want to buy dollar and what is the price of dollar in it in terms of euro so you have to spend 0.7143 euro to buy one dollar it is the opposite of each other direct indirect is the opposite of direct direct is the opposite of indirect right okay so here so are the yes 11 and 15 means our class our yes. class our class is finished at 840 right? right yeah because it's quite late here in china yes i know I think our class timing is 11.40. Let me just see. Ah, 11.40. Yeah, 11.40, not 14. We still ah, have, sorry. we still have, I think, 25 minutes. Ah, sorry, sorry, sir. Really okay. sorry. Okay, we try, we just about to finish because there is one more thing that I want to do that right now because that is very important and very difficult. So I give you the concept and then we'll talk about in our next class we'll do some couple of examples so that you are champion in that we we'll call that cross rates okay just pay close attention to this direct and indirect quote so this canadian dollar direct quote is dollar so one canadian dollar is equal to 0.66 dollar if you want to convert this into a ratio, how you can convert it? It means 0.66 dollar is the value of one Canadian dollar. Understand? So the hint is that whatever is in the denominator. So the numerator is the price of the denominator. So denominator is, if it is one, it means one Canadian dollar is equal to 0 0.66, 0 0.66 dollar. And where this 1.51 came from, if we just, this, divide it one by one by the quotation the direct quotation rate which is 1.66 answer would be 1.51 and what does it mean this rate is equal to dollar over canadian dollar sorry canadian dollar over dollar if you don't understand direct quotation and indirect quotation, don't worry about the name direct or indirect. 
just focus on 